Hello everyone, welcome to Simon 2, part 2 of the Honda CU2 2008 and um, 2024 we do this car and uh, finally we got everything else, CV choice out and wire loom like last video the wire loom stuck all around there and there and I'll uh, show you the tricks for the empty mouth if someone has too much trouble with empty mouth to take up the front easy easy side easy the back one a little bit tricky the back one all you need to do is just take up the one bolt i will take the torch and show you the torch is here you can see in the dark see that bolt along there see that one there behind this bloody house is here i will turn this one remove this one anyway how to get this one out anyway later this one is out already, but anyway, see the bolt there? Take off that one, that big long bolt, and all that will be separate, see? And lift that rubber there, don't touch it. And this one, easy. Take off from uh, these two, this one, or this one, this one, this one, and these two, you take the whole chunk out. The bottom one for this one, I already undo that bolt, just one bolt there, and it's holding the bottom one, see which out, of course. And, uh, <clears throat> In 2024, we are now new modern, new modern talking. So we'll be no more pineapple groups here. And we, in 2024, we, we do something look better. And uh, this is the first time I ever done a my turbo anyway. So it look a bit uh, mess like pineapple, but uh, it's good. I have some fun with that. But 2024, we upgrade to something Still keep this one. This one like bank and new anyway, looking good. Anyway, we'll be the side way here. We'll be no more mess looking down there. And we have a lot of roomy down there. So it's looking good. So um, what I do is uh, set up my engine cranks and uh, put in ready and kaboom all the bolts out. And I will be happy. Working, last time I stopped working because I can have not have a tool to undo the board joist separately. This kit here, I give to my Mr. Yes Borrow. I have to drive all the way down to Saxon and pick up the tools and now I got back and a bit too late today. Yeah, and climb up the car if you want to climb the mountain. And uh, see the bolt we're talking about. Only one bolt that can go in there. And you can take it up, okay? It's in there. See that one? Use your brake bar and you can take it up when it move and take off this one only bolt and this is the bar I use for setup and break there because see the back one is out out like that or we will lift up and pull the pin out and this one one two three and then three of the bolt along here and you can lift up the whole lot see and uh, what you do is put in the box here don't mix up and uh, you would be, oh shit man and it's in the box and uh, see Leave this side, just leave it like that. Don't touch it, okay? Don't touch this side. Just leave it like that. And uh, take this one out. Exactly the same way. This one. Leave that one. Just do one of this bolt. And take this one out. And when we move the engine, we lift up. And then we put this one down. And we can take this one up if you want. Or just leave this one. Up to you. Just take this one up on the top. Or you can do one bolt here. And then done. Just leave that one there. And this one. Just put on the sideway, on the sideway, make it loose, come out first. And when we jack up the car, we take up this one, and it come loose, and then we undo from here. Take up this one, and we free the engine. But we need to set up the chain tomorrow, and we start to lift that up. So save your time to uh, have to bring the whole cradles out. Have to take all the socks and all that and chop down. If you have a garage, and we don't have garage, and we have to attack the... Uh, undo the uh, power steering control and everything that's all rubbish we do this at home this is the quick waste okay when i tear up the engine why i'm not gonna put in here why well, i'm not gonna put in here but i put over there because i want to diagonal here go we'll lift up like this and the engine will be lift up the whole lot and it's not tilting on one side and i go here because on that end we have nothing to go in but if you go in that end we have to go to this end to hold it and this end so we diagonal 
and uh, we have to see for sure the balance of the uh, see the chains and I took this one up just in case the uh, air control here and later we have to put back so sometimes they lean down and now it's ready to set up the pan and put in here and when we lift up a little bit and we can move that's the last one out and move that bolt out and we are free to enjoy our coffee the falcon uh, baxr6 if you are talking about yourself version you have to do some of this version no one help you you by yourself have to use a bit of my brain to turn my upside down my Aussie flag like this way and you see the whole world is here just like up lift up and it can go through here put this one back you bastard can someone come and help me do the setup for this place anyway the chain already on and ready to set up and pull it out for someone who already mechanics already know i don't say but for someone who is backyard mechanic like me so now we tilt this one up and you see that bolt will lose we turn and get that only bolt there see that bolt there and we come up and then take up that side and everything will come up see this side already loose see the gap here come out and this one easy come up okay and then we're gonna chuck it up high into the sky and we move backward and we drop it down here and now only got one more here this one got to come out come out this one loose okay and then see this bolt take up and then we come out take this cross up so make it less interfering for you like sometimes they stuck on the houses and break the house so there take it up and uh, put it in the box See, grab, grab one thing like this in the box. Later, how you get out, that how you back in. This one come last, see? Simple, now it's free. And uh, you can shake the gearbox, see? Dancing like a dancing king. We are happy cow. Check it up, see? Slowly, take it easy and steady, okay? It not, it not uh, rust or anything, you have to steady. Do it yourself and uh, we save you some money and uh, I find out this is the quicker way to remove the engines you see now everything free if you want more free you have to clear and more but uh, for me that's plenty see now see what else you expect the whole lot is coming up the engine and the gearbox together of course they're very heavy but if you want more easy next time you uh, put see the bracket there take it out and when you shop the engine in and you guys can go underneath and put the bolt on and put them on so simple as that you see so let's take it out check it out see nothing to worry about it actually very confident i do this way i feel very confident because uh we not the garage okay so we cannot take the crazy cradle underneath and chop it down and take it up so that's not 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 the style that we will do some work at home this is the style that we can do something at home okay super simple happy happier i'm very happy see now clear move back she's inside you see a lot of space and not touching every underwear Good news, see? Mm, check it up. High into the sky. Slowly. Very, very happy. Good news. They come out of the whole chunk. And uh, yeah, make sure you only got to uh, set up your hoist. <laughs> set up your engine cranks good and you have happy. Set up good, everything right, it's right, okay? Is anything wrong? It's wrong. Yo, beautiful man. See, this one only one job, one person job. You don't have to need two person for this one. It's not hard at all. I enjoy it. I enjoy it, baby. I enjoy it, baby. Nice, see? The reason I take off the radiator, you see? The room, I want it, see? i not touching the radiator, that's why. It's worth it. It's worth it. Spend your effort on it and happy no more engine my goodbye this good engine and uh, 
tell you what, the six bit on this one is really good. Imagine it's run on limit, limited slip date. Limos! Ooh, high into the sky, high into the sky. I take my time, enjoy my life with my beautiful sleeper. See, after that, we take every single one by one to that engine. But I have to take the gearbox away first. And uh, I put the engine on over there and I start to strip it out and put it piece by piece. But engine, the gearbox have to go first. I need to get it fixed ASAP, okay? Put the limo slip deep on for me ASAP. ASAP, I need it. You only need to go clear in here. When it's clear here, and we'll be alright. Very good gearbox, very good engine. I'm not complaining about this engine, okay? okay. No question at all. Oh, oh. Look at my design and the CV choice. The rubber came up, and uh, see, later we take this one up, take this one up, put a new one on. Take one up and then later we slide on this way and later with the oil will be here more difficult to replace oil because the oil filter here anyway all good all good i'm happy you see too high and then to, to turn what you do is drop it down lower it down to the level with the balance of the uh, whole balance of the uh, cranks and you can pull it uh, so much easy safety okay don't be don't do stupid thing and this one will go down that side and the whole engine will collapse so what I do is drop it down up halfway slowly and then I pull out here okay. and I go slowly and uh, see the balance of the grains I don't want the balance of the grains go down and fold on you and here we go See, now it's low and you can pull anywhere, it's not falling down. See, you see man, safety first, okay? Think about safety first. Brush are clean. You can uh, open up the engine mouth over there, checking the rubbers, check everything, check everything. And uh, very impressed me, the uh, electric power, power steering. It's really good actually, no trouble at all, and it's still nice and quiet. I was impressed about this one. And the bottom engine mouth, you see that? You can open up the back one, and uh, if it loose, if it loose or wobbling, too weak, you can buy a new one, if you wish, okay? And this one is, uh, see this one we got air suction in here. When the air suck, and it's making a balance of the wheel, so later don't forget to put this one back. It's called uh, Air Dynamics. Socks are uh, in this one. Engine mouse, see? See any good or not? Okay. Now I uh, leave it here. I start to strip the uh, gearbox out. And this one, the magnet pickup. So I write write something on it. Write pickup magnet. I say pickup PI. PIC. PIC. That means pickup. I'm sorry, you guys. It looks very ugly where the oil return. But uh, you know, this is the first time ever Simon making turbo car, making turbo engine. So uh, good lesson and uh, good demonstration for you guys and learn better from me, better and do better than me. Okay? So uh, this one, take off the shop. We have to take off this cover with, with the stop the wire protection for this one. And you see, see the shop is stuck here. See this one? And um, this I would been replaced uh, two years ago and after the turbo will damage this one anyway bring for recon I'd be happy and that's it that's all you have to do and take it up straight that out and put underneath where and uh, we're talking about repair later or we put it together here yeah, see going here no worries oh good okay and uh gearbox will be come out get this engine mouth back Start a motor and uh, gearbox gonna be removed and uh, bring it to my cousin and uh, be nice to him so he can he can do your gearbox in good nick 
make a beautiful uh, limo slip dip and uh, we'd be happy, okay? And uh, I'm still thinking I decide what to do. Would I put the um, twin clutch or I using the, um, what called the, uh, the button one? I don't know which one I use for, okay? I still uh, sit back and uh, thinking exactly what I gotta do. Should I go for twin clutch or using a serrated? I don't know, maybe I the cream crush it make a little bit of noise, that's why I really don't like it. That's why I start a motor fully recon 2022. See, two years. And uh, okay, one more number 14 down here, and then we can piece all the piece all the uh, up. All mold all the bolts out, only two last one. So what we do, we go straight up here. So tomorrow I wait for my friend so I can lift up the gearbox. Put the gearbox in the car and bring to my cousin because the gearbox is super heavy. So what I do now is take it up and uh, oh no, we have to lift it up and put the chain over that way. So I can pull the engine away. I forgot about that. Sorry. Two last bolts and I finished this one and I got the engine out and you know what next I have to do Okay, the gearbox out So the gearbox will send away and uh, all this one to bring over everything, every single thing Of course we have to uh, on the CU2 the oil pressure sensor here we have to get the EKI i3 engine to put it here, the solar noise here, control. Oh, the timing cover, the, the, the dust cover, it have two bolts, one on the top, one on the floor, one down the bottom. Ridiculous. Oh, boy. Anyway, oh, good. Take me long enough, man, you bitch. You bitch from the jungle. Jungle bitch. Okay, over there. Up we go. Right. Okay, that's it. The picture is out, and uh, now all I have to do is pull this one out, and uh, the gearbox will be go straight into my car, bring it to my cousin, and rebuild to CU2 version. And look at that really good grips, really good gearbox, actually. I'm not complaining about it and uh, give me very good power and the clutch is uh, a bit one too because with two years a lot of power boost in there and very very powerful okay yeah. we uh, trip slowly car been done stripped out and it's dark I'm about to go sleep but uh, see how so far I put everything in places. Some house we need to maybe make some more for the control thing. And uh, making this one, make sure the oil return can go in. All this keep original, but here a little bit funny. But anyway, don't put this one on. We may using this one for the brakes one. So I may disconnect this one. Just keep it there, just so to remember where to go. And this one, we need one more air. To go in somewhere like go in here to get the control for the regulator fuel and we'll be all right but i know we miss one wire one air hose so we may need some more for uh, this one make one that can slide in here see from here we need to make one for the air intake here somewhere if i can i make one here and uh to slide that one go here and slide this one straight in here and this one go into the engine mouth where the engine running is dynamic air control by this one and don't let it leak okay it's very really important so this one go in that control thing and uh, we will have complete all the wiring all the houses so we figure out which one to go instead of that one go long distance this one just go here straight here so this one again, they open the valve for the water pumps and uh, this one, like I said, I have to make one more hole here, make sure it go in there and control that one, 
control the stabilize for the engine and uh, this one I have to get one more new one from the Kai A3 to the other one to control the oil and uh, see the fitting so far I've been fitting the oil line go that way and it go in perfectly oil line fitting and here it cleared away I want more tensioning so more stronger I order the belt like this it's original belt but I gonna get one that one centimeter shorter so it got more more tension on this one and it's always got more grip so they don't split like before and this is the water I may disconnect this one or I can use the uh, one of the water houses see this one one make one here to go through the weight case this one for real this one here weight case here the turbo here and have to make the oxygen sensor for the turbo as well so maybe somewhere here for the oxygen sensor so that one there come out and we'll be good and this one fuel line for the feeding line they go may go underneath here some everywhere or go on the top who know we leave that one there so easy very easy so make sure it's nice and tidy okay nothing to worry about and this one one house one of this one go in here and one of this one go in here it circulate to cool down the uh, in this area here for the for the throttle body and we'll be right so far like uh, we strip mostly everything so um, we will strip all the all of the belts shorter put a uh, air conditioning and then we can have the original and wait for the gearbox and put in okay put this one in my car straight away and uh be nice to my cousin he will make this car this one for limited slip dip with six bit with the i'm very happy and uh swap everything over and this one will be swapped over making new oxygen sensor for the new new one and we'll be right okay okay guys thanks for watching simon tools and uh hope to see you when we put everything back in together again and start and go down the road and get bookies see ya